AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety this morning has startling new research about distracted driving. The group analyzed videos of the six seconds leading up to a crash. And this unprecedented study reveals the disturbing behaviors behind the distractions. Chip Reed is in Washington with a new warning, particularly to the younger drivers. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. You know, when you think of distracted driving and teenagers, you probably think of this, the cell phone. But this new study says that with teen drivers, the distraction often comes from passengers, which is why I'm sitting back here minding my manners and not distracting the driver. During the summer months, more teenagers are on the road, and the number of deaths from crashes involving teen drivers soars to an average of 10 every day, 16% higher than the rest of the year. Over the past eight years, AAA, working with the University of Iowa, studied teen drivers using dashboard cameras and documenting more than 2,200 moderate to severe collisions. Over that time, they saw a disturbing change in behavior. Jennifer Ryan is with AAA. They're more likely to interact with their phones via texting or social media, which is particularly scary because they're actually then looking down and taking their eyes off the road. The study says today, nearly 60% of teen crashes involve distracted driving. But perhaps surprisingly, they found that cell phones are not the number one problem. No, the top distraction for teens is other passengers, accounting for 15% of teen driver accidents. 12% were distracted by texting or talking on a cell phone. What we know about teens is that when they add a passenger, they're more likely to be distracted, they're more likely to engage in risky behavior. I miss both of my daughters so much. Stacy Robinson lost two daughters in a crash in Texas in March. A teenage friend who was driving was looking at her phone moments before hitting an 18-wheeler head on. This device also could only take a moment and your life can be changed. Now, Teron Wooldridge, the brother of the two girls, spreads the word about the dangers of distracted driving. The best way that I can honor my sisters, the best way I know possible, is to talk to youth and talk to parents and, and help them to understand what could happen. AAA says nearly two-thirds of the people injured or killed in crashes involving teen drivers are not the teen drivers, they're passengers in that car or people in other cars. Charlie? Chip, thanks.